So they did a study where they took different grinding compounds and different techniques and they looked at it under an electron microscope. And they all said, yep, look, this is all concentric rings because it's like a high speed drill. Not once do they mention that Petrie said it was a spiral groove. The implications of this is when you have a spiral groove on a core, we can now use that to determine how fast did this core get cut. Turns out that it's something like 500 times faster than we can manage today, which is like, how the hell are they doing this? If you look at the way we cut this sort of material today, like this spins really fast and mm -hmm. it grinds its way in there quickly. This may have been a very slow moving tool. For damn sure it wasn't some copper tube, which we've never found by the way, any of these grinding tubes that they said they use. That's where the devil's in the details. The argument's always been about it's not a spiral groove because if it is a spiral groove, the implications are earth shattering for Egyptian history. Yeah. But in the textbook, where the stuff is taught. When they show this picture of Petrie's core number seven, they literally tilt the photo just a little bit so that when you're looking at it, the lines look horizontal. Deliberate manipulation of the photo just to make it look like it's horizontal